is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com, and we're looking at the Touch Diamond with Remote Desktop Mobile. As you can see, I'm logged into a server now, and we're looking at Windows Explorer. And you can't read it probably, but up here it says Files on WM underscore Adam Z, which is the name of my Touch Diamond. And you can see it shows up over here as well on the folders listing. And these are actually the files on my phone. And I can tap and hold on one of them. Copy it. And then paste that file anywhere I want. And you'll see it comes up with a copying dialog. And there it is. I just transferred a file from my phone to the server. and I just trashed it. So there's really a lot of things you can do here. I can, you know, start a defrag process, set a backup schedule, add users, all sorts of great things. Here's the server management control panel. Lots of cool things you can do with this. Now, it is a pretty tiny screen. We are VGA, but I mean, look at how small these buttons are. You're going to have to look at them really closely. And you definitely need a stylus, fine point stylus. So I just logged off, and I'm going to log into a different computer. Just going to type in some new credentials, password. And this is a new uh, version of the remote desktop. And there's some options here. We can change the color, bit depth, full screen, fit it to screen. Resources, I can choose to map the storage of my phone to the remote machine. I'm going to shut that off and I can choose to play, so play music or sounds on the remote computer or this device. So I'm going to connect to a desktop computer now. And here you see Windows Media Player. And you can hear some music coming through here. It's not very good quality at all, but it works. So access Outlook. And any number of other programs. So there's really a lot of options here. 